What's up everyone and welcome to another I Spy. With the Jupiter Tile set came three brand new spy vaults to learn and honestly they're some of my favourite yet. Only one of them is really much noticeably faster on a stealth frame and even that's not really by a whole lot. So normally in these videos I show one stealth run and one non-stealth but for this video I'm only going to show the vault that really has a noticeable difference with both. The other two vaults I'm just going to show the non-stealth frame. So with that said, let's launch into the rest of the video. Okay, so we're here at the first vault, and pretty much your stealth frame of choice here is going to be Ivara because of the infiltrate augment for her prowl. Basically, when you come in here, this is going to lock itself down, and you'll get a choice of two doors. You're going to get one upper and one lower. It can be split like this, one other side, or you can get both on each side. And basically all you need to do is run down the stairs of the lower, always go lower, head into your three, and then just run up to these panels and hack them. Because we've got the infiltrate augment on, we get extra movement speed, and we also get the fact that we don't have to care about the lasers, which makes things so much simpler. So once you've hacked these, all you need to do then is just head back up to the top and complete the vault. It's really, really simple. It's way easier and way quicker on Ivara than on any other frame. And there we go. Okay, so we're on to the first vault still, and we're going to go to the left-hand side. We're on our non-stealth frame, and this is the one with the trickiest rotation. So head to the left-hand side here, down to the lower, go through the vent, and head up. What you are going to have to do is you're going to have to wait for the enemy that's underneath to patrol away. Depending on what stage you get here depends on what like part of his patrol pattern he's in. But wait for him to wander away before heading down here. Left side is by far the least optimal. If you head to the right hand side you actually can catch him as he's walking away immediately and just jump down straight away. So we'll turn those lasers off for easy getting out. We'll turn this off as well. And then we'll look through the window to see that guy wandering away. We will run round behind him, grab the panel, and then we shall go up and complete the, vun uh, the vault. It's definitely the more tricky of the two rotations going to the left hand side here, because you have to wait for that guy to patrol, but it's not too bad. The right hand side, like I say, as soon as you get into the vault, the guy's already patrolling away, so it definitely is very, very helpful. Just a quick little thing to note though, uh, when you're in a sortie, if you're on like melee only or something like that, and you get this middle vent here, you can always drop into operator mode and knock the uh, camera out with your operator for a silent thing, and then head in. Trying to melee that thing is going to be kind of annoying, and if you don't have a silent weapon, it could lead to you setting off the alarms, and the it's kind of, all of these are kind of unforgiving in terms of like setting the alarms off and having time to actually complete the vault. So I would say it's definitely worth using your operator and his amp to be able to uh, do that silently. And so we're on to the first of the vaults that really isn't any quicker on the stealth base frame than anything else. So we're going to head into B here and we're going to head to the right hand side. This guy's always going to be moving away just in time for us to go into this vault into this vent sorry and we're going to head down here we're going to wait for this to pass basically if you get uh, touched by those lasers you're going to set off the alarm so head in head down those initial beams that come across you don't have to worry about getting hit by they won't set anything off so we'll head into this second one here it's just stand slightly on the back of the ramp and uh, just, just enough so you can actually get a little bit of height. Be careful, if you go too high, you'll obviously hit the beam. Head in here, turn off the lasers. Then it's actually just a completely clear shot all the way to the vault. And you can hack it right here. There is basically no advantage to doing this on a stealth frame whatsoever. So it's a very, very, very easy vault. And one I like quite a bit. This is the third and final vault, and it's the second one that really isn't very much quicker on a stealth frame. It's very, it probably like maybe 10 seconds quicker on a stealth frame than it is on a non-stealth frame here. But the exact same principles apply. So head down here, head into the door. Basically, you've got to wait for these lasers to pass. Obviously, Ivara doesn't have any problem with these. 
and then head up the stairs here. Go underneath these two lasers here. Under this one here. And then stay on these stairs for probably a few seconds. This is where a stealth frame obviously is going to be useful. Because there is one guard that is going to be patrolling past any second now. There he is. So honestly this is where you could save a bit of time on a stealth frame. Um, wait for the lasers to pass one more time. I'm going to duck just in case. Head behind this guy and down here. Basically, then it's just a really simple straight shot to the um, to the vault. Be very, very careful about these lasers. I think they are in random positions, but just jump over them. They're not that difficult to avoid. Um, then we'll just head into the vault and we shall hack it. And then that's all three vaults done and dusted. So I hope that has helped you improve your spy game on Jupiter. They are brilliant vaults. I really, really like them. They are. I, I like promoting the sort of get good style of gameplay where you don't necessarily need to have a stealth frame to make things quicker. Really, really enjoy it, and they look fantastic. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this helped, and I shall see you in the next video.